with our viewers at home, we do have a graphic. I think sometimes it helps us better understand what agoraphobia, agoraphobia symptoms look like. Let's go through these. I mean, crowds are waiting in line. I mean, I almost think that's inevitable. Closed spaces, movie theaters. I know that you even talked about a phobia of people who don't like to go to the movie theaters. Well, right. But if you put in front of every one of those symptoms, I'm afraid to leave home because I might have a panic attack. I'm afraid of crowds because I might have a panic attack. I'm afraid of enclosed spaces because I might have a panic attack. Let's say movie theaters, when I'm working with people and we're doing exposure and it's mm -hmm. time to finally try a movie. How do we do graduated exposure? We get them in, buy the ticket, take a friend, and get an aisle seat. If you have to leave, you're closer to the exit than if you were in the middle. Right. That's how we do graduated exposure. Have a success, great. Next time you go to the movies, we're gonna get you to sit in the middle seat. To reduce the irrationality of the fear. I'm just sitting in this movie theater. I'm, more, I'm no more likely to have a panic attack sitting in the movie theater than I am sitting at home, right. which we just talked about. Okay, um, it's all the same, open spaces. Agora in Greek means marketplace. So that's the most literal definition of agoraphobia. I have a fear of open spaces, but I don't really have a fear mm -hmm. of open spaces. I have a fear of having a panic attack in that open space. The same with parking lots. It's, it's all the same. Public transportation, buses, planes and trains. When I first received some training in behavioral therapy, exposure therapy, right. back in the day, I was living in Toronto over 40 years ago. We mm -hmm. have a fabulous subway system in Toronto. It is actually I a great subway system. I would take people down yes. into the subway <laughs> in groups. And we would ride a stop at a time, two stops at a time, three stops at a time. Then without the therapist, I'm sitting here, you take a stop and come back. We would do two and three hour exposure ses sessions.